the second item that I wanted to share is let's go to setup and let's say you are new to the project and the project is already live and you know people are working on it uh, day in and day out and you are you have just joined as a fresher now and you want to understand how the system looks like so the most important thing to understand is what kind of applications are being used and what kind of objects are being leveraged and how are they associated to each other right once you understand the object relationship you'll be able to understand what is the business use case or the functionality of the application right so to understand how the objects are linked together there's something called schema builder that's available so under object and fields you see in the quick find box i just typed in schema you can just go ahead and click on schema builder this opens a visual representation of how objects are linked with each other all right so this loads a good visual chart and here currently all the objects are defined i can just go ahead and click on clear all and i can just add the objects that i want to see all right so i can just drag it here like this and i can see find my objects let me just minimize this i'll just add account let me just go ahead and add contact let me go ahead and add covid count so let's add these two these three right and now that i've added these three you see i'm able to see these three objects and there are links available that i can see right if i just drag it here and move this here you'll see there's this there's some sort of association from contact to covid counts which is true right we have created and created a master detail field right if this is not easy to read let me just zoom in so you see there's this master detail relationship with contact which is why you are seeing this line coming from contact one to many right similarly you have association from account to contact one account can have multiple contacts that's why you see this line right here right so you can easily understand the relationship between different objects that are being used using this schema option here and here the other facility that you see is you get to see all the fields available and the data types also so if you want to see the data type of a specific field you don't have to go to the fields and relationship section you can directly come here and just click on show more fields and you can see all the fields here with the data type all right so that's all for this section uh, the dependent pick list and the schema builder.